let's talk about the cause cross origin resource sharing of Salesforce. Uh, if you go to set up, it is under the um, security uh, option, the second item on the security menu. If you, um, course means it allow you to sh uh, download the uh, JavaScript from different locations. This is a des de uh, description uh, documentation of Salesforce. Configure Salesforce course allow list. Cross origin resource share allows web browser to request resources from other origins. Um, let's go there. Um, this is how you create a um, origin list. Create a new uh, www. Some URL dot LK warning using the insecure site such as HTTP connect to the Salesforce can compromise the identity of your site. We recommend using HTTPS. You see, it gives an error. So I didn't type HTTPS. So um, so the protocol is a is the encrypted. We need to do uh, encrypted protocol for communication. It took the default when I type without anything. It took HTTP, right? HTTPS. Okay. When I go back here, so it is right below that cross origin resource sharing policy settings. Enable cross cause for auth endpoints. Um, I already enabled the web browsers can require resources from these auth endpoint with valid auth token. Um, services auth token revoke introspect. So I already enabled it was disabled. So let so that's how you enable it for auth. Uh, this is the cross origin resource sharing um uh, screen um salesforce technology support course apex rest bulk api bulk api 2.0 connect rest lining out rest api results iot rest api crm analytics rest api use interface apis you can go to the um, salesforce documentation on course this is the um